My job role is to ensure that the organisation staff are well equipped to meet their job roles and specifications and that they're able to have the right qualifications to do those things and that they're developmentally focused so that they can see what's going on around them, recognise changing needs and then we work together then to see how we can meet those needs in skill and knowledge. If I look at other people that are in health and social care from the staff that we employ, then there will be people who are qualified as social workers, which everybody usually thinks about, but that's not the only route. Uh, lots of health and social care organisations have level entry posts, so no qualification and no experience required. They will engage people who've got really strong values about humanity and from that they will help them to build their skills and their knowledge around social care. We employ people who've come from working in industry, uh, ex-police officers, ex-store retail workers, people who've never had a career before at all and have raised a family and then later in life when the family have grown have decided they'd like to do something. So they've come to us from having had nothing career-wise at all and can go on to be a frontline worker all the way through to being a manager over a range of services. It's a very open arena for work. Well, when you're working with human beings, every day is different. Nothing stays the same. You can predict some things, but you can never fully predict a human being. The skills and the knowledge that you have today may not be what you need tomorrow when you're working even with the same person. Keeping on top of what's happening in people's lives, what matters for them, how you can best support those people, work with those people, provide care to those people, means that you have to tune into their needs, you have to tune into the environment and how they respond to it and how it impacts on them. Knowing and understanding all those issues requires you to be keen to learn, to understand and to put things into practice. It doesn't necessarily mean qualifications, but it means knowing who you're working with and what's right for them and how you can fit that. If you don't have a real deep interest in people and their well-being and their value in life, it's not the job for you. If you have that and you intrinsically want to help people to have the best life they can have, then social care is a really good arena to do that in. Without social care, we couldn't exist as a society. We need social care workers. People will always need help and support and positivity around them, and that's what social care workers bring.